Tonight, a new perspective on one of the worst tragedies in Kansas City history. A former Kansas City library historian is bringing forth papers he's uncovered related to the 1981 Hyatt Skywalk collapse. The new book, based on an attorney's claim, says the Crown Center Development Company created by Hallmark for the project also played a part in that tragedy. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco is live here at 10 o'clock at a memorial to the victims near the current Sheraton Crown Center. Yeah, the Skywalk Memorial out here honors the 114 victims that were killed and more than 200 that were injured. Now, what much has been learned since the tragedy. There's dispute amongst the project's developers out here whether this book will impact future safety. They're the stories from those who lived through the previously unimaginable. She watched Joe lift his arms and disappear under an avalanche of debris. Evelyn bravely started to run toward her husband, but a wall of wind knocked her headfirst back into the pit. 180 boxes full of material gathered by Robert Gordon, a plaintiff's attorney in the Hyatt Regency Skywalk collapse. Bob Berkebile spent that night in 1981 trying to help rescue victims then returned the next morning to try to figure out what went wrong. He was the project's architect. And I'm not a structural engineer. As soon as I looked at that connection, I knew immediately what had failed, and as did everyone. It was determined the Skywalk's collapse was the result of what should have been a single floor to ceiling rod being replaced by two. When they made that change, uh, the it changed the loading on the steel rods. It doubled the load at the point where they failed. And it just never got caught. And what subtitled Robert Gordon's untold story of Hallmark's Kansas City disaster, author Eli Paul lays out the attorney's claims the tragedy could have been prevented if they paid more attention to an earlier 1979 collapse of the atrium roof during construction. I was in those meetings and that conclusion couldn't be further from the truth. Berkebile says construction shut down for weeks so the first issue could be studied. The specific words I used and we all used at the time was investigate every connection steel to steel and steel to concrete. Gordon's lawsuit never went to trial. He said his co-attorneys settled out of court in 1983 without him. The founding principal of BNIM, Berkebile, can see the site of the tragedy every day from his office. He's glad much has been learned from its in future construction. To honor those lives, uh, I think accepting the reality as hard as it is, is better than trying to find someone to blame like Don Hall and Hallmark. Um, that's a disservice, I think, to those families in this community. Now, in response to the book, Hallmark released a statement that reads in part, all three judicial authorities that reviewed the matter concluded the independent engineer's design of the Skywalks was to blame. We reject any narrative that is inconsistent with the facts, the findings, and the legal record. The company also said it's never forgotten the victims. The book ends detailing this memorial out here, which it says was built through a sizable donation from the Hallmark Corporate Foundation.